Hello and welcome to Warblog. Um, <laughs> I was going to say this is a test, but um, it's not. This is just another game. Um, I had a meltdown. It's just a meltdown. Um, I'd like to say a virus, but it was none of these things. I, I, <laughs> I had a Microsoft update. And, um, I mean, maybe Microsoft should be put on some list of terrorists. I don't know, but. I just couldn't, uh, it just wouldn't detect my microphone. I figured out what was what. But I suspect there's a bit of hiss in the background now, and it's like, is that it? You, you know, you update my computer, and now, you know, my £10 microphone doesn't work like it used to. Um, so, I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe it's picking up through this other one. No, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't know what this is going to sound like because it has to be processed and sent up to YouTube and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll get there somewhere. Eventually I'll buy a new computer and, <laughs> you know, in a couple of years and, and then, you know, it'll all be okay. Uh, I mean, most people, most people don't watch my videos for more than... I think it's um, like 20 seconds, so already there, you know, I don't think it's going to be any big issue. Um, so we've got this one here, I'm going to do this, but just sort of basically the same game. I sort of messed up a bit. I messed up a little bit, but not really. I mean, I've got this information in here, I think, from Live Map. But when I looked at it at Southfront, assuming that they're the same thing, the geographic regions are sort of quite different. So this is what we've got on this one. But you might recognise some of this area as I'm not even going to bother with so and so what you might recognise it as. But if you look at this, that's this area here. But as you can see they make it all the way up to about here. And I haven't finished this road yet. There's a lot of information on this to, to still do. But it's the same thing. But that other one only goes up as far well almost as far as there. Well almost as far as there. So it's sort of is not really what it is, but that's sort of how Live Map defined it, and I'm a bit lazy like that, so I just did it. And then when I found out, when I looked, tried to reference the south front, I thought, well, I'd do it again, yeah, but do I edit this one? I'll leave this one in here. So I'll say this is from like the 14th, I might edit that to the 18th, and then say this is the 18th to the 28th, or something like that. I mean, no one really, you know, it's not as though it's sort of in, in, in history as, as a, at the moment. So, I'm just going to give it a play. I'm not going to play too long because I'm sort of more interested in really whether or not I've got microphone problems. Um, because I did so much twiddling around trying to get it back that I changed every setting, uninstalled drivers, reinstalled drivers, and at the end it wasn't actually that difficult, but I changed so much that I sort of one surprised it actually works because I got, I got a microphone, I've got a single microphone jack that's supposed to be both um, and that threw a spanner in the works but anyway I'm going to get on with this essentially the one thing difference difference is different between this and the other one is that the south the live map what's it defines these as southern resistance movement now I've got southern movement and this is the southern resistance but uh, assuming that they could possibly be different organizations I've redone these but there are some other ones where they've got some southern movement um, I mean, I don't know what's going on here, really. I mean, they say southern movement, southern resistance. Um, and I've got some other ones that are green, but it doesn't matter. But this is a new one, and that is their colour. Their colour is sort of blue with a bit of red on it, um, fighting the Houthis. So, essentially, you've just really got to get up there, and um, no idea how this will pan out, but it doesn't look that difficult. Um, obviously there's some units there, we've got a couple there, Maybe we've got a nice big task force here, I think that's the thing to be sort of looking for. I don't know really what to do. I feel like just having a blast really, so I'm going to just see how far I can get up here. Is that for a flank? I 
don't know which way it would be quicker. 1.5. It would have been quicker to just go straight up. Okay, that's my first turn. I've got some artillery, so let's just try these guys. Also got some helicopters from the presumably from Saudi Arabia. So is it point eight? Point eight. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with these because I'm playing a movement game. I think at the moment. So, what do we want to do? I mean, they're up against 6, so that would be 3 to 1, possibly 2 to 1, because of their location. <laughs> 2 to 1. They're looking as though they could be seriously affected. So, I mean, the reason I sort of did the outflank manoeuvre, because I sort of thought, well, you know, what are the implications on that? And what is that going to force the, the Houthis to do, without, you know, really being, there being much conflict? Um, I mean, these units can get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, they can get anywhere there next turn. So it sort of looks like these units really need to be, one, two, you, you know, getting sort of into some kind of defensive line like that. else they'll be outflanked. So this is only infantry, this is only infantry, so they're pretty slow going. So they can probably only move one, so that'll put him there, you get two on the right, so we could have a line like that. We could form that line. So it's what I'm going to do. So we're giving up Hema Seaport, which is one of the places that they're captured. I don't know actually where it is, but um, there's no point in fighting for that. Well, that's that. So, what the Houthis need are some irregular units. Maybe I'll give them some irregular units. to enter the fray. One movement is 2.1. Might as well
Oh, that was a lot. 2.7, 2.2. Well, we don't need the helicopter. It's got nine more attacks left. I think I'll save that. I don't think there's any real need to save it, but I think I will. And this should be... Okay. <laughs> that was pretty um, rare. I mean, that was their first time. So they both rolled under 10%, which is what they would have needed. Oh no, 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 they were rolled under 40% because they were whatever it was. I mean, I think they were about 3.84, about 4 impressions, um, which basically, obviously they're both eliminated, so that was interesting. Well, there's a push against this unit. A DE, but he retreated to there. Okay. Well, they've lost two units. They could have maybe... Well, they couldn't have retreated those any faster. Okay. Well, maneuver, maneuver. Was interesting. Point three. Send the helicopter down there. in with these mechanised units. Huh. Two to one and an exchange. I always seem to mess up when I start to get complacent and <laughs> start moving the things around. So the, the southern movement have had their first setback or first sign of resistance. Um, the youthies definitely need more. I might give them a few bits of artillery or rockets or something. Maybe a few mechanised units. They do get some reinforcements on from here but not till quite late, I don't think. Oh, turn four. <laughs> turn four. <laughs> Come on. Oh dear. They're just going to hold out till turn four. So, it's got a little bit of movement left. What's he got? Six. So, where's he trying to go? Oh, I 
Und du waren. I'm gonna get all this manpower. <laughs> I have to go and do it. I'm one to one over there. He's just. Uh, I'm tired. It's been a it's been a long time, about four hours, I think, at the very least, with this microphone. And this, when you get these computer problems, they're um, they drain you. You know, it's like the end of the world. I don't throw my computer around, but this sort of, you know, it reaches that sort of territory if I was that sort of person. You know, why does Microsoft have to update my computer? Why does they just leave me alone? You know, I'm probably more, more inclined to buy a new computer within the space of a couple of years. You know, what's the point of updating it in that time? What, what possibly could have changed? I mean, all I do is browse the internet. It's just incredible. Every time it does, and the thing is, <laughs> I got back, I just start something, it says your computer is updating, it's 10%, this might take a while, it took over an hour, possibly an hour and a half, I don't know, a long time, and it did, it took that long, and in that time I couldn't do anything, I mean, I've got a little tablet and things, but I just don't need Microsoft updating my computer, I don't want it, and I try to figure out a way of, no, don't update my computer, but you can't stop it. You know, they're probably putting back doors in and monitoring and clandestine things that we'll never know, we'll never find out about. We just don't need it. Anyway. So the Houthis turn three. Well, they had a bit of luck over there. Which means we can double up there. This is about as good as it's going to get. Aha! Look at that big stack. Oh, yes. Eek! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, no, no, shouldn't press that one. Um, what does that mean? I think... We've got to somehow... That's, that's, diff that's made things difficult. I should have just thought of that, but... Um, well, let's see. I'm going to move the artillery up. And... Well, I think I think we need the helicopters up there. So <laughs> I did it again. Oh, I mean, this is almost embarrassing. I'm still I'm pretty tired, you know. So it was shot down. <laughs> That's an entirely legitimate result, but that is pretty rare. I don't think I've ever seen one shot down when it wasn't against a lot of anti-aircraft and surface-to-air missiles. Helicopters are pretty vulnerable. That's a new change, but, you know, new sort of like about six to eight months ago. No damage to anything. They've lost their helicopter. Oh. If only I was awake enough to appreciate what was happening. Um, can they do that attack? I 
exchange. Now that's that's a classic, you know. I feel like sort of, you know, printing this one out and putting it on the wall, something like that. So the front line is now like this, but we've had a retreat there, an exchange there, a downed helicopter there. Whatever a helicopter looks like. And the smoke. <laughs> it's like a flying pig. Oh, God. Well, that puts the Houthis in a much more interesting position. I mean, I don't think they were strong enough to counterattack, but. You know, they can suddenly, well, they can certainly do my favour, and that's take this artillery out. Now, that will put them at some risk, but I think the thing to do here I think we really want to make sure we take it out. He's not got any depression, so he's not going to be, chances are, being eliminated is fairly low. That was just a DR. Well, that's not the biggest problem in the world. But I think due to that change, Afford to push these further forward, and here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we could go for a SRAM. One, two, three, four. You can't do a surround because you can't get that hex and that hex. You can't get through there. So the best way to sort of do this, we can't. That'd be zone controls. It'd be one, two. Zone control. One, two, three, four. Probably best to stay in a big stack anyway. But here we go. Well, they have depression three, so six, one, probably only a two to one. But it has to be done. <laughs> Exchange. No, the Houthis should have known their luck wasn't in the way. <laughs> they had all their luck that last turn. At least they didn't get an AR. I mean, that could have been an AR. It was a 12 and a 2 to 1. I'm surprised that wasn't an AR. An exchange. Well, we're not going to do anything else. I think they want to sort of at least pull out of that tight spot. They're going to have to stay there. They can move forward. Depression's three, depression's two. Depressions two, depressions three. I think I'm going to try and recover. Houthis really need some artillery. They're not entrenched anymore because they were engaged in that, that attack, which probably wasn't a good idea. So the Houthis just can't really counterattack. They don't really have that capacity, and they're forced to DR. But I'm 
I've got no air support. Okay, the who's these? It's a shame we really can't counterattack. There's just not enough in there. Just infantry. Oh, that was good. Three to one. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was really changing the dynamics of it. I thought this was going to be a pretty boring game. I'm uh, just alarmed at how exciting it actually is. Um, I hope the recording's okay. It's got movement. So that cost him 1.75, 1.5, yeah, No good odds. <sighs> no, that was that was a crap shot, but I would like to go for that stack, but we just don't have anything in there. Exchange. Okay. I'm sort of tempted to say, well, the Southern Resistance now are going to regroup and pull back you know I think once you've had that sort of many devastation devastations and, and then sort of whatever you need to say well this is going into the, an extended situation where a review of strategy would be required you know they would sort of say okay well you know let's just we don't want to mess up here we don't want to lose this I mean although we're looking pretty strong we've lost a lot you know, I would be more inclined to say, okay, we're going to fall back to there and then to hold that line. Whatever a front line looks like. You, you, you know, in response to a number of catastrophes, including losing, you know, the helicopter support, losing two units. and losing a major assault on El Matena, having a massive attack against their only artillery position, 
and being faced with quite a sizable stack here. Um, you, you know, but the thing is, that's not how Warhammers play. And, uh, and there's obviously no morale and leadership in it, so they can pretty much go on. The question is, do I want to do that? Because I sort of just want to upload it, really. But, but what I'm saying is, do I really feel... that it's that bad because they could pretty much hold to some extent I mean what's their defense two four six eight ten I mean, we'll get a one to one I mean the only thing we can really do is to pound them with our artillery and hope we get some good results like that. That got his morale. And one of these units into there. No, because we've got two with the artillery. We want to keep the artillery safe. Here, I mean, you know, there's not much more we can do. It's a good defensive position. Here is a bit risky. Let's see how it goes for another turn. They've taken that objective now. Well. One off. They should have seen this coming. I saw it coming, but I didn't actually s imagine it would be this significant. I just thought they'd be so tough in there. I mean, I'm not even going to do the maths, just do the numbers. Oh, an exchange. So the southern movement have really same argument. They're in trouble here, and that looks like trouble, but they can break out of it. With support from here. That will help them with their I mean we could do another attack, but I really want to make sure we've got this line here. Let's not try our luck too much. So which one do we want weak? That one weak or that one weak? Get the artillery out.
Okay, what can the Houthis do? I was not expecting that. I had to do that. I had to try that. I mean, that was a one, wasn't it? I mean, let's just, you know, that is another one that I need to print out. I mean, that was a roll of a one. I mean, that was just a two to one attack. That was about, that was pretty tight odds. And that was a roll of a one. You know, I had to win that one and this attack here. I had to win both attacks. I had to commit to losing and uh, basically. You know, that could have all gone wrong, and leaving Al Jabela undefended. I mean, obviously, I could maybe go back, but I had to commit to that. You know, I mean, that's how the gaming goes. Um, but that is really quite incredible. Okay. Right. They're going to hold so they can recover some, uh, some of their depressions. Southern resistance. Right, at this stage, this is the second retreat call. And obviously they've got a line there. They've suffered a catastrophe in, in, uh, at Tuhata. And you know they they really don't look as though they can maintain this front. This one's quite strong, but once that falls and everything sort of falls around around that, even that might not look that good. I mean, it, it's sort of what I'm, what I'm saying is, I mean, it, you know, they have to we have to sort of retreat. Um, but the thing is, game-wise, we don't have to. But I don't really want to carry on much further. I mean, it's sort of, well, I could go for that. But it's, it gets to the stage where, you know, once you've lost that many units, your command wouldn't be holding up. And I just don't want to sort of continue playing it until there's only sort of like four counters on the map because everyone else has killed everyone else. And it, although it's a fun game, or it's a sort of maybe a natural thing to just keep doing, I just want to... Up upload it and maybe not spoil it by making it more boring but this is definitely you know I like, I like to sort of focus on these things because it's definitely one of those things that would be in the news headlines you know unprecedented failure by in you know Saudi coalition sponsored southern resistance forces in the march north against the Houthis. Oh, and, and the only thing to sort of add is that's exactly what's not happening at the moment. The Houthis are being easily moved out. And I did think 
that that would happen in this. Um, you know, right at the start, I thought it was, you know, just going to be a walkover. I mean, you know, if you, if you look at the first part, the video, there was just nothing that there was no resistance, and it was just these, you know, these couple of unexpected um, results. You know, losing the helicopter was a big thing, and they've still got their artillery, but their artillery did have the possibility of being eliminated. I mean, if it had been hit once, it had a depression. I mean, you know, I think we've got us got quite good odds against it, but we just got the DR. So that doesn't really, you know, I mean, what's the, the depression one now, um, I was just thinking if we did have some, some artillery or some way of pushing those odds up, is it depression five? Zero, zero. I mean, I didn't even think about whether I had any more movement to follow up on that one. Um, depression zero, point six, point four, depression seven. So we could lose that. So we've got three units in there. I mean, they've got these units are quite tough. So they've got four mechanised units, so that's actually quite a tough lot, but you know, considering that they've lost a significant proportion of what they've got, um, I think what I'm going to do is pull them back. That's why I upload the video as well, but I think I'm also going to leave it like that. And say, so, well, that's that. I mean, they're not going to advance too much further. and. I could have gone on for a bit more, but it's 43 minutes, and um, the average view time is <laughs> 20 seconds. So I, I do enjoy watching the videos, though, myself, because basically they all seem to be quite interesting on re-watching, um, and especially something like this. I mean, the problem is I probably will never remember where it is. But um, if I ever come to watch this again, I thought, well, if anyone watches this fully through, this will be like a World Cup, a World Cup classic, I think. And that's the last thing I was expecting when I started playing it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want some of that World Cup classic experience yourself, you can sign up and you can play it and marvel with a bit of the thrills and spills of hexagonal-based combat simulation in the modern war, in the modern era. Okay, um, I, hope, I hope the audio is good as well. I'll speak to you later. Cheerio.